What's up guys, Big Me back with another video. Today we are doing a little bit of testing with our drag cars. I got my pops getting his tires ready. Papa Neve got my car chilling over here. Then we got Mr. Jay Kennedy doing some scaling. Let's see, are we allowed to see these numbers, Mr. Kennedy? Oh, fine. That helps the public. <laughs> it helps the public, there we go. We got a uh, got a new timing system uh, today. We got a TrackMate single lane timing system. Got it all set up here. Down there, about ready to make our first rips. This system does ET and mile per hour. Um, I don't know how I can show that. And it keeps a log of your last 10 passes, so that's cool. But yeah, I uh, just wanted to use it before, uh, before the winter so that if it doesn't work we can send it back and get it fixed so that we'll be ready for the first of the season um it's the first time using it but uh it's about like 40 degrees outside right now maybe not even 40 degrees it's cold so it's gonna be a struggle but we're gonna see what we can do here we got some uh, new tires from c rule 3d fx that we're testing haven't ran these before got them scuffed up got them broke in i run his front tires they're pretty pretty nice we got some different serial tires in the Pops car. Throwing some prep on them. Oh yeah, we're gonna get right into it. All right, uh, my first pass wasn't too hot. Uh, it was slow, but it made the trip. And in the shutdown, it caught something and went up in the air and rolled over. And I think it broke. It, won't, it wouldn't come back. We got Thomas going to fetch it now. But uh, it was a 187 at 84 miles an hour, which, I mean, it's about on par for the tune that I had in it. Um, we had to do some spacing on the sensor because the sensor was too low and it was catching on the wheel, not on the body, and we needed to catch on the body, so we raised the sensor. So the body catches right on that line, and uh, and it's good to go. We got Thomas with the, uh, he's got my car there. Hopefully it's not in pieces. All right, guys, well, we, uh, we, snapped a screw out of the toe block on the uh, on the wreck there and broke my front uh, body brace so we're gonna have to do a little bit of fixing but uh, not too bad we're gonna need to put some nascar flaps on it successful hit for old Cam. Car stayed on the ground this time. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think that was a 7.8 pass at 87 mile an hour. You don't think that was a what? What the in the world? <laughs> it it might have not been ready. So, so Cam, so you're running 80, 80, was it 80? 87 mile an hour. You can only go a 7. 7-8, huh? It's got a lot of back half in it. It's I mean, got a lot of back you must, half in I mean, you must, from like three feet from the trap, it must be coming on. Yeah, right? yeah. Coming All right. Hard. <laughs> All right. Anytime you're ready, Cam. He didn't like that. A little less angry. I want 80 at 86. Yeah. It went down. Let's see what it did. 187 at 85 miles an hour. But it went down. Last couple passes it didn't. So it went down. We got something to work with now. I tried a completely different tune in the thing. So, and it seemed to like it. What you think of the pass? Eh, sketchy. Yeah. Pretty sketchy. Left a little better though, I think. Yeah, it's still kind of going to the left and it's wanting to, to drive, you know, all over the place. But I don't know, hoping that these tires will start like breaking in and that belt seam will start softening so it doesn't like skip the tire as hard. Cause honestly, it sounds like I'm like got a broken belt. All right, guys. But it's getting faster. Where'd it go, 125? No, 75. Oh, the mile an hour is worse because I'm dodging and weaving the whole back half of the track, but it's launching better, huh? Oh! Same thing that... 
All right, guys, this is our first comparison pass. Uh, these are Voodoo's. These are golds with the double stuff foam. Golds with double stuff foam. Wide um, wheels. Wide wheels. This is going to be a back to back pass versus the Cyril's. Just um, 175 on the Cyril's. Oh boy, in the briars. 174 89, almost the identical pass between yeah, tires. A lot more mile an hour though. A lot more mile an hour. Alright, we're gonna go fetch a car. <laughs> we'll go be back. Come on, let's walk. Alright, right, we're gonna go on. Right, he's gonna take the fat kid out and walk. Oh, Cam right here. Cam got, got the prayer on his back. Yeah, right. Alright, guys. The car was a lot smoother, I felt, during the pass. Um, it got a little dicey on the top end still. That might be a power delivery issue, not necessarily a tire issue. In mile an hour. I need to look at that. I haven't looked at a day log all day. But, <laughs> but uh, it's a lot smoother out of the hole. Um, it honestly felt like it left a little slower, like it wasn't as stuck. <laughs> um, but that could have been, you know, this is the first pass on the tires, so the prep isn't really worked into the tire as much as the cereals are. But uh, I'm going to clean the tires. Uh, we will uh, pull the data log, see what it did. And I'll make another pass with the exact same tune-up. And I'll uh, see what it does. All right. All right. Put a little more horsepower in the pocket change. 80. Easy on the brakes. All right. That pass was a... Uh, 179 and 88 miles an hour while he goes to pick up the pieces. Not too bad. I heard a little bit of skipping from the belt of the tire. Uh, Jay said that it's stuck to the ground, which this is a uh, pretty sticky stuff. I don't want to step in it and ruin it, but yeah, it's getting pretty sticky already. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try and uh, fix the braking issue on his car. But uh, it seems to be going pretty good. Time to put some more power in it. Oh yeah, smooth as heck. All right, I don't want him to see it yet. What did it feel like? 78. 78? Uh, 86. All right, well you got the 86 right. Mm -hmm. and 74. 74, not bad. Dialed in. Looks like he was a little too stuck. It went 174 at 0.9 mile an hour. So, one, you know, slow. Slow in a mile an hour. But uh, I went 174 again. So. 74 with a 4. So, that's. So, the car's repeating. That's, that's awesome. That's good. That's good. The car's definitely too high. The track is definitely too sticky. All right, we got Pops a little bit of horsepower now. He's still running the uh, the Cyril tires. He's running the soft compound on narrow wheels. I'm running the super soft compound on wide wheels. I'm putting them back on for my next pass. Don't stick it like crazy, like just like that, and you're good. We're cars are starting to get stuck in the glue, so we're <coughs> running less prep, and we're not sticking them as hard. Oh yeah, it's stuck good. Hey, your spoiler's coming off, Pop. Hey, your spoiler's falling off or something. I saw it flatten. Oh, yeah, it's broke. Yup. <laughs> That's your problem there, pal. That's definitely. No, 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 no. That's not why it's stuck. <laughs> All right, guys. Chilling in the trailer here. Jay left us to go get some uh, food because we some big boy. You see that right here? You see that right here? We got to fill that up, okay? I got one of them too. I got one of them too. But anyways, we was just going up over the cars. Uh, I was cleaning my tires and I heard something clicking whenever I rotated the tire. Well, I looked and these two screws right here had backed out a little bit. Um, 
I guess I forgot to put Loctite on them, Loctite on them or something. Um, so I tightened those up and then I noticed that my pinion was completely loose and sliding off the shaft. So got that all tightened up, ready for the next run. Glad that we caught that because that would have been probably a spur gear and a motor. <laughs> if it would have let go. And an ESC if it would have let go at the uh, the wrong time. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just chilling, waiting on some food. I think I'm about to charge up and make me another run on uh, on the serial tires. I went, uh, I just went 174 back to back on the uh, Voodoo um, Golds with double stuff foam. So I put the cereals back on it and uh, I'm gonna try, see what they'll do. It's getting really sticky out there. So I think we're gonna drop back to like one coat of prep. I've been doing two or three, but I think we're gonna go to one. Uh, battery's done discharging, I think. Yep, ready to send it now. Alright, that run wasn't good. I had to get out of it. It was a 188. Tires are not the happiest. What, what are you doing, Jake? Ball stud on my wheelie bars loose. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ball stud on the wheelie bars loose. Yep. Go. A little sketchy, but not bad. All right, the past before on Jay's car, we had changed the throttle curve to a little bit more aggressive of a curve, and it didn't like it, so we went back to, uh, we went actually a lot more aggressive on the curve. So now we went back down and just uh, a tiny tick more aggressive on the curve. So you're good right there, Jay. Yeah, you're good, wait. Yeah, you're good. All right, ready on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Now keep her, keep her in line there, keep her in line there. Let's see what it did. Hey, I think he's gonna be happy about that one. Hey, we finally broke the uh, 87 mile an hour. Yeah, we got some mile an hour there. Still 7.4 though. Yeah, well we didn't really change you know, a, t a terrible lot, you know, so let's, uh, let's turn it up now. Turn it up even more. Yeah, it definitely needs some front half. It's, uh, it was a little slow out to hold. I wish that, I wish that I would have, you know, thought ahead and, and saved up a little bit more money to see if we could get six foot and half track uh, sensors, but we'll, we'll be all right. ET and mile an hour are, are the main things. We'll, we can, uh, we can work around it. All right, we uh, re-trimmed pop car because it was drifting a little bit to the left. All right, you good? What did he do? 77, 85. Yeah, not bad. It's the fastest pass of the day. His fastest pass of the day. Still wiggling a little bit. Drove a little bit to the left. Dude, I don't know. Y'all can't see it on camera. But these things listen. All right, last pass of the day, Jay Kennedy. Oh, that was a little slow at getting out of the glue there. Right, guys figured i hop in here uh, just for a quick sec uh, i want to apologize for the video kind of being all over the place uh trying to test on three different cars and film at the same time was a little challenging but it's all right we uh filmed what i could um still got a pretty decent video out of it i hope you guys enjoy it um sorry it's a little all over the place but uh yeah made a couple passes off camera um and i was able to get my car down to 166 which is the fastest i've been on our test road uh, and we were able to get jay down to a 167 at 90 miles an hour and then the last pass of the day, which you guys just saw, was a 168 at uh, 90 miles an hour from Jay. So he was pretty ecstatic about that. Had to try a completely different tune um, from what uh, I run in my car and my dad's car, because he's running the Trinity four pole and we're running the R1 works. 
four pole, but uh, yeah, the tune was a little bit different, but um, we were, you know, running about the same numbers. Um, so that was good, but yeah, it's uh, it's time to hang it up for the winter as far as drag racing goes. It's cold and wet, and there's not many places that you can go and drag race when it's cold and wet. So uh, we're gonna hang it up. But uh, yeah, man, appreciate you guys watching this video. You know what to do: like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Woo!